Hello everybody, Caden here today with another episode of Minecraft Dinosaure. And today, well, today, I don't know what exactly we do. I guess, what was it? I'm trying to remember what I said I was going to work on last episode. Uh, Allosaurus, I guess? I don't remember. <sighs> to be honest, I just kind of want to preface something before we really get into the episode. I don't know why, but this afternoon, and this happened more at school, and I don't really know why. Today was actually a really good day. I got two large tests back, and I did extremely well on them. So, I mean, I should be actually pretty excited, considering I did really well on Spanish and math, which are two subjects I really don't do well in usually. Oh, yes, I forgot I deleted all those resources. Not deleted. I forgot. Um, where are they? They were um, disassembled into coding by the game, which broke them, and then I lost my stuff. Um, anyway, what was I trying to say? Oh, yeah. So I had actually a really good day, technically. I had an awesome day. And for some reason, halfway through the day, I just, I don't know. I lost yeah, my, not energy, I guess. I don't know. I lost something, I guess, and I don't know why, but I kind of feel, I don't know, not really irritable, but a combination between irritable and kind of depressed, and I don't know why. Because usually, as you guys know, if you see most of my videos, I'm usually a very, uh, what's the word, chipper, I guess you could say, chipper kind of dude. Usually quite happy, pleased with how things are going. I don't know why, though. Today, just, I don't know, it was weird. I was really happy and then just kind of lost it. I don't know. Gonna try not to let it affect too much of today's episode because, you know, I don't like to have sad videos. I like to have happy videos where, uh, you know, nothing seems to, you know, get in the way of doing this. I don't know. Motions are weird. Anyway, I'm going to stop being well, depressed, I guess, and uh, actually get into focusing on what we're doing today, which is building Allosaurus slash Ceratosaurus um, enclosure. What's oh, EPS truck? Like, what? There's like someone, I don't know who it is. There's a neighbor of mine. And they have like, I don't know what this is. It's like a pickup truck, I guess. It's like an older pickup truck. But they drive this thing down our street, down my street, at like 60 miles an hour, and it sounds like an airplane's like coming down on this, coming down the street or something. And I don't know why they do it. It's so bizarre. People do weird things. That's something I've learned. In my 15 years of being alive, I've learned some weird that not some weird things. I've learned the fact that humans are generally quite weird. Including myself. I am quite weird. Yeah, I actually am quite weird a lot of the time. <laughs> and one of the major things a lot of people will point out to me, I guess, if I ask them how I was weird, is probably dinosaurs. The fact that I'm 15, <laughs> I'm still interested in dinosaurs. I don't know. I can really tell I sound out of it, don't I? I can already tell there's the comments being written, like, Why do you sound so weird today? What, what happened? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see, what can I do to focus on something else so that way I sound ha so that way I'm kind of more interested in stuff. I don't know, interesting to listen to. Um, oh, I guess I could talk about the exhibit plan. So, exhibit plans for Tis Exhibit. I think I will be doing something along the lines of I think we actually mentioned doing something like this a couple episodes ago. How oh yeah. How I wanted a river to cut an exhibit in two, and I think I'm gonna do that for this one. Not this river. I am filling that in fairly soon. I want the river to be going that way. That way, not this way. So that way then we can have Allosaurus like on one side, Ceratosaurus on the other. And yeah, I think it'll look pretty cool. I also want to do something different with the pathways, because we've had we've had a couple different exhibits. The most common one being what is it? Uh, fence at the same level as the dinosaurs. And then we've had two where... Actually, I count the Velociraptor and Dilophosaurus one as being that kind of exhibit. And then we have the Therizinosaurus one where 
the dinosaurs are actually below you, and then we have the Brachiosaur one, Bra the large herbivores one where they're at uh, both the same level and below you, I guess. I don't know, it, it, that was a unique exhibit. I want to do something special with the fences and walkways of this exhibit as well, because I think that's kind of something I should be doing more. Trying to stray away from doing the same thing with each exhibit, even if I can make, even if, what is it? Even if the strategy does seem to work really well and we get really nice looking builds out of it, I do want to try and experiment with more builds. Try and uh, expand my building prowess, you could call it. Let's get some more uh, unique builds going. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so how big is this exhibit going to be? Also, some of you guys did actually leave uh, messages for the name of the baby Therizinosaurus and for the biome habitat thing that the Therizinosaurus lived in, and I'm very thankful for that. I have not read them, though, and I'm very sorry. Or, Well, I read them. I read them because, obviously, if I read them, then I would know, but... I haven't paid as much attention as I really should have to them. Otherwise, we'd probably be working a bit more on Therizinosaurus today. Anyway, we should need to quickly do something. There we go. Okay, so I just had to fix something real quick. And yeah, so let's see. I kind of want to do what we did kind of like the herbivore exhibit where we have the pathway come around and we just have like a middle section here. Reason I want to do that is to split it up a bit more from the Therizinosaurus enclosure, so it's not just like, oh, you have Therizinosaurus on one side and then you have Allosaurus on the other. I want Allosaurus and Ceratosaurus to kind of have their own special area. <gasps> Ooh, I'm getting some ideas here, getting those creative juices flowing on what we could actually do for this exhibit. Also, uh, more of you guys will have noticed this, and I think we did this last week as well. No, wait, was it last week? No, I don't think it was last week. I was it last week? It was last week. Um, where we're doing more dinosaurs than we usually do. And this one, I think I actually have a justifiable reason for it, and that would be, we are nearing episode 50. I think, if I did my calculations correct, which I probably didn't, I think, let's see, okay, so yesterday was episode 46. Today will be 47. Tomorrow will be 48. Thursday will be 49. Yep, I did it right. So Friday should be episode 50. Which will be sick, because that means we're already 50 episodes into the series, and yeah. I don't know, I just really wanted to get there. I, I want to do something special for episode 50. Um, should I mention it? What do I plan on doing? Maybe. I guess I could. Or I'll give some... E mm, do I? I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I will next episode. I don't think I will this episode though. I think I'm going to keep my plans for uh, episode 50 a bit of a secret for now. But you guys have to try and figure it out or wait until tomorrow's video, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. So where is resources? We have, we has stick. Does we has iron? Weez does not have iron. Um. Come on, we gotta have some iron somewhere. Iron? Iron! We have gold. Of course, though, I don't know the last time gold was actually ever useful for making tools, but... Um, do we have iron here? No, but I do have my iron pickaxe. That is what I was looking for. We also have several dry... We have two extra dryosaur eggs. Um, I think those were just laid by the dryosaurs recently, so... I don't know what we're gonna do with those. I guess if we ever do end up making Site B, we can definitely use them there. Man, Site B. I honestly haven't thought about Site B in a while. Long time. Long time. Oh! You know what? That's something I should actually really ask you guys about, because that's some of the information I really need. And that would be... What are we going to do on Thursdays? Now, this Thursday there is going to be an episode of Dinos, but next Thursday... I don't really have a plan. Now, some of you guys might be like, oh, just do Zoo Tycoon or something. I don't really feel like playing Zoo Tycoon. I don't know why I just lost interest in it really, really, really quickly. So I don't really feel like playing Zoo Tycoon, so we'll probably not be continuing the Zoo Tycoon series. And then, um, what is it? Some of you might be like, oh, just do Atlas. And I can't actually do Atlas anymore because... My friend who hosted the server, he actually took Atlas down to host a different thing, which was, 
I think it's either Pixelmon right now or it's a build group server for some big build group he's in. So thus, I can't really do Atlas anymore either. I might ask him to send me the world. But you see, I don't even, I don't think that it's going to be, I mean, it already wasn't super duper popular to begin with. And I don't think it make it any, I think it may make it less popular now that the fact it's not even multiplayer. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to. So yeah, I need a new when not Wednesday. I need a new Thursday series, guys. So leave it in the comments. Um, any ideas you have? I assume one of the ones that is going to come up pretty quickly is Pixelmon because people are like, I've been getting comments for quite a while. I think actually, like, oh, you should do Pixelmon, do Pixelmon, do Pixelmon. Uh, I well, if enough of you suggest it, maybe I will do it um, for Thursday's episode. I don't know. You know, that's kind of the funny thing, I guess. I've mentioned this before, haven't I? I think I have. Well, for all the new people, you'll get to hear this hopefully for the first time. For those of you who have come and this is just like a dinos channel and you're like, oh yeah, this guy's he does dinos, stuff like that. That's not actually how the channel started. And surprisingly, I did not start this channel as a solo channel. <laughs> I started this channel with my one of my really good friends, Caleb or Mafia12. Yeah, you you'll know if you'll see him if you look at my really 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 old videos and there's a reason i'm saying really 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 as in this month they one of them will they'll start turning three years old so yeah those are really old videos anyway so yeah me and him started this channel together so it was not me alone and second of all and this is the thing i think more people will be surprised by the fact that this was not a minecraft dinosaurs channel this was nothing anywhere near to a dinosaur's channel at the very beginning of it. This was a Pixelmon and survival games um, channel, so it's a bit like uh, what's his name, uh, Lachlan, I guess. A bit like his channel. That's how we. That's the way we had started the channel off. And I kind of laugh now looking back at it. Like I had really no intentions of doing Minecraft dinosaurs. I think from the very beginning, which is kind of weird to say now considering. <laughs> It's basically what f the channel runs on for fuel. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But yeah, quick history lesson, I guess, about uh, the Chaotic Craft. Actually, you know, I may have to do something soon. Yeah. It's a bit... Of I never actually finished this project. There's a pro I'm not going to say what the project is. It doesn't actually retain to this channel. Uh, it retains to something else. But I had started a project at, oh, how many months ago? This was back during summer, so this is at least two, three months ago I started doing this. And it was going to go out really, really soon and was getting finished and everything. And then what was it? And then the channel explosion hit. And I kind of just shoved it to the side and it kind of fell apart. But you know what? I wonder, I wonder if we set, if... Huh. Okay, I guess I have something to tell you guys now, which is be on the lookout for me doing interesting things. Actually, you'll really know if this happens if I end up taking a breaker off YouTube for like a week, which will probably happen anyway. What? I have a feeling. I always. Oh, yeah, some of you guys said I should do a special Halloween episode. I have tried to do a special Halloween episode for the past two years, I have never been able to accomplish it. Well, usually because I would try and do it with friends, like my friend Zach or Aussie Man, my friend uh, Caleb, uh, other friends, but it never ended up happening. So, yeah. And then when I tried to record it solo, everything went terrible. So, yeah. I'll see if I can get some holiday special type videos going up. We'll see. Maybe we'll see. We will see. Oh, wow. I think I've already been recording for like 20 minutes. This, yeah, or, no, not 20 minutes yet, because I started a few. Yeah, so it's been about 15 minutes already. That's insane. That's that's the funny thing about recording for, with me, or not with me, for me. For me, recording is a bit funny in the fact that time just passes really, really quickly. What f and sometimes an episode that could be a half hour long only feels like what 20 minutes less probably like 15 minutes for a 30 minute episode. It's kind of weird. It depends on what I'm doing, I think. Also, I just realized I have spent two of the last four, 
like four episodes just destroying things and slowly <laughs> mining stuff up while I talk. We need to do some more interesting episodes soon. I think... Uh, oh, what is it? Yeah, this ep Not this episode. Next episode should be a bit more interesting. Uh, hiccups. I've been attacked by a wild hiccup. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, next episode should be a bit more interesting because then we're actually going to start getting into the whole... Par not park design. Uh, exhibit design. And I've got some pretty good ideas, I think for how I want to set this up. I'll probably set most of it up off screen uh, sometime. Actually, I don't have a lot of homework today, so today would actually be a really good time to set it all up. So yeah, between this episode and the next one, unlike the Therese Zinosaurus exhibit where I said, oh yeah, I'm gonna put tons of work into it and then we'll come back and I'll be ready to do stuff. That actually never happened. So I hopefully will be able to, between this episode and the next one, start getting things more set up. I the, th the thing I'm more concerned about is I don't know how far back I want to bring this exhibit. I mean, at most I'm thinking uh, here. Because if I bring it too far back, then we don't have a, a ton of space left. Oh, wait, but we do. Oh, wait, what dinosaurs do we even have left to put into the main park? Okay, dinosaurs we have left. Deinonychus. Uh, Allosaurus, Ceratosaurus. Uh... So, um, if I hit just mod, fossils and archaeology, and then, where is it? So, we have Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus, I'm just counting dinosaurs, by the way, right now, um, Deinonychus, Gallimimus, Allosaurus, Ceratosaurus, and that's it. So, we only have six dinosaurs left to put in. And then, what is it? Um, Denonychus, I, oh wait. Yeah, I changed my mind on something. I forgot about that. I think I said this last episode, and I think we are actually gonna do this instead. And a lot of people are gonna be like, but why would you do this? You already set the exhibit up and it looks cool for them. Why do you wanna move them already? And for those of you who don't, I can't guess what it is, I'm gonna go over there and show you what I'm talking about. So, you guys remember, I was just talking about we're going to do Allosaurus and Ceratosaurus, and I had done some more research and realized the biome that I'm thinking of is very similar to Dilophosaurus. And guess what other smaller carnivore, or, yeah, small carnivore we can put in here, or we can put like three or four in. Denonychus. I mean, I'd obviously change the exhibit up a bit, as in more windows. Actually, you know, I kind of need to just redesign this wall. I don't, although it was cool when we were actually building it. This wall is not super effective at, of actually letting you see into there. Yeah, we need a new fence. So yeah, I think we are going to move Denonychus in there, which gets one dinosaur in, another two. And then Triceratops, Gallimimus, and Tyrannosaurus Rex actually aren't going into this section of the park. They're going in a completely different area. Which means this whole midsection will be scenery and buildings. Uh, probably a museum, because you guys, I remember you guys have been suggesting me to build a museum for quite a while. Uh, what else? Probably a food court, restaurant type thing. Uh, visitor center, maybe. Because a hotel, we're building the hotel over there. Maybe we could, oh, that might work. We could put a marine creature in here. Because there's an idea you guys have suggested since they got added. Um, you guys haven't really suggested it as often now, but I remember seeing this a lot when it first came out. An ichthyosaurus station that's kind of like the dolphin stations at some zoos where it's like you have got you can go up and t like pet the dolphins, I guess. I don't know. Feed the dolphins. So you guys kept suggesting I do something like that for the ichthyosaurs. And I haven't found an area in the aquarium or the aquaviary where I can do that yet. But... That could very easily take up some good space in here and help me fill in the center part. Because what is it? We'll have the visitor center, which will probably be around here. Then we could do like the ichthy area, F restaurant, food court thing, museum. And the museum could be integrated right into there. Ooh, I got these good, these ideas are getting good. I am liking where we're going with this park. I also want to get some more attractions set up, besides buildings. I mean, like, 
I want some watch, not watch towers, some viewing towers, things like that. Oh, yeah. Man, I really have to give you guys some props. Uh, to all of you on the server. And you'll be like, what, what do you mean? You guys are amazing at coming up with ideas for builds. Many of which I'm like, okay, I've got to ask them if I can just abridge this build for my own part. I mean, I actually have asked that several times, and you guys have said yes. So, yeah. Um, don't be surprised if you see some server-inspired builds popping up on here in the future. Because I almost wonder... I mean, I would definitely say some of you guys are better builders than I am. There's a good deal of you, actually, that I'd say are better builders than I am. Oh, well, yeah, we only have one Tyranodon. Mm -hmm. So we have Aerodactyl. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did all enjoy this episode. Um, Bit of a slower episode, but we got more planning done. That seems to be more of what we do in these episodes recently. Is, uh, more planning, less actual doing. But, I mean, it's given us an idea of how the park is going to look in the future. Speaking of which, I actually want to ask you guys this. I took it away not because I didn't like doing it, just because mainly I was having trouble because I broke my stand that I used for it. But would you guys like to see the return of face cam? Honest question. Would you guys like to see the return of face cam in Minecraft Dinosaurs? I think the main reason I kind of stopped doing it was one... It takes longer to edit the videos because I have to make sure all the audio is like matched up because I don't have like a, uh, an audio camera or whatever that records at the exact same time and stuff with the or like an overlay recording of it. What I do is I have an external camera which I record with the face cam with and then I in editing or post I guess you could call it I mash them together. So yeah, it just takes a bit longer and then sometimes face cam is just annoying. Anyway, but yeah, would you guys like to see the return of face cam? I think it'd be a bit interesting to have my face up in the corner again. So yeah. Anyway, guys. Oh, wow. Wait. Da, da, da. 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 Yeah, so anyway, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, um, make sure to, I don't know, subscribe, I guess. I don't know. Do what you think is necessary. Anyway, thank you all again for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And until next time, guys, we'll see ya.